Hey everyone, uh, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Halo ODST. Um, this might be the last... 4.9. This might be the last episode. Um, there's only 11 missions. Oh god, I'm getting shot. Dickhead. Do I shoot you when you're in cutscene? Look it up. Does the rookie actually shoot guys in cutscene? Or is it just him goofing around in Mombasa? Anyway, this might be the last level. Or the last mission. Considering that the first mission is cutscene, and this is the tenth part, if I'm counting correctly, uh, then that would be consistent. Game audio is still loud because I want this music to play. What now? Real hard hitting graffiti there, Banksy. What now? I don't know. You're an asshole. Banksy thinks he's so cool. Jump pack brutes, huh? So like I know that story-wise they got rid of elites because a, a thing was happening in the story in the plot, you know. But also, it kind of sucks that they got rid of elites. I know it's because of story, and I respect them for that. But it means that instead of having two extremes, either you can have a suave, controlled, intelligent thinking force that has energy shields or you can have a violent base aggressor freakish gorilla bear ape man and that's and that's in there now it's just the the violent oh that's a chieftain huh how do you use these grenades I've been saying Like that's a creamy beauty. And so yeah, like getting rid of elites just gives less enemy diversity. And it means that you're fighting more of the same guys. Like in a lot of encounters where they would have put elites, you just fight brutes. And it's something that also happened in Halo 3. And granted, the Halo's record with elites has never been stellar. Because um, Halo Combat Evolved, Halo 1, uh, technically, I think... What? Oh, he landed on my head. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, Halo 1, Combat Evolved. Halo Combat Evolved, Halo 1. So that takes place before... Before brutes are really well known, and even though it's technically Reach, where even though it's technically Reach, where brutes first appear, brutes don't actually show up until later. And so the first level of Halo One, um, especially on the difficulties, is just kind of weird because you're mown through elites, and elites don't feel like they have power in Halo One for a while to me, because you're just f you're just mowing through them. And like, yes, they are things that are more of a challenge than grunts, but that's not a wide margin? What was that? What's happening here? Okay, there we go. Is it? Oh my god, I've been shoot. There's a fucking pane of glass. That's why I haven't been hitting them. God, I don't make highlight reels on my LPs, but if I ever start, that would be a fucking doozy. 
Along with a fucking jetpack jump brute landing on my noggin. That reminds me, let me turn the audio back down. Else I will be drowned out by sounds of Chombat. Hunters. Wow. That was nice and easy. Been getting a lot of good hunter kills in this game. Considering how I got totally shut down by hunters in Halo Reach, I really well handled it in this game. And recall that I'm recording this uh, several, well, near a, nearly a year in advance. My friends all say I'm optimistic to assume that I'll still have a YouTube channel or that there'll still be a planet by that time, but I'm hopeful. I wanted to mention, in longer levels, Halo kind of feels like it gets to shine a little more. Because the feeling of war, you know, the feeling of I'm going to toss away my weapon because it's empty and pick up an enemy's weapon off the ground. Wow, I beat the par time on Data Hive. I don't know how I got that. Also, I apparently just completed Data Hive. I'm low on ammo. I'm on sub-level 9. Sub-level 7. Hey, it's 7. Bungie's lucky number. Anyway, the idea of, of Halo has always been a very enduring one for a couple of reasons. The idea of discarding your empty weapon and picking up an enemy weapon is cool. That's always been cool. This is a pretty obvious boss fountain. I'll ditch this later. Seven G, is that potentially a Simpsons joke? Hard hat, nice. Safety's important. Turn this back off. See, a lot of the lighting in this game is is a an awkward in-between where it's too bright to use the visor, but it's too dark to leave it off. Like, I'm, I'm getting lost in here. It sucks. Any usual. Yeah. For those who don't know, seven is Bungie's lucky number, and if something is a number in Halo, it's pretty much always a seven. So, that's why we landed on sub-level sector seven. Oh, grunts. More glass. Don't shoot it, you dumbass. All right. I'm just looking for a gun now. I want something that can shoot a little further away from me. Seeing as a shotgun, I need to be kissing an enemy for it to work. Ooh. A little safety pocket here. Yeah, I don't remember this level. I think this level gets skipped on Lasso, actually. Or in the Lasso playlist. Since it's technically not a real level. Because the levels are designated as the, th the parts where you go play as another guy. You know, so like, when it says, you know, Buck. 15 hours after the fucking thing. Yada yada, you know the drill, all that shit. That's a level. And so, um... In the speedrun I watched, which is uh, Lasso, and the Achievement Hunter Let's Play, which I also recently watched. Relatively recently. It was a couple of months ago. Nice. Maybe Cuddle Up is killing grunts or killing people at close range. Give me your gun. I think because this level is technically... Oh, wait, no, maybe I remember this. Maybe just short. 
Yeah. Um, any segment where you're in the street is passed over when you're playing as the uh, the rookie. Okay, so that was quiet. I heard the sound drop out there for a second, and I was very confused. All right. Don't have shields. That went very well. Some of that classic superintendent wit, by the, by the way, right there. Expect delays. Hardy, floopin' har. You know, I wonder if there's a class I can take to stop smacking my lips so much. It's something that legitimately irritates me while I have to listen to my own content. <laughs> Thanks, Trooper. They almost had me. Been trying to get down to the next level checking my team, but this stack is locked down tight. Here's this thing again. Welcome. Access granted. Huh. I guess you have the magic touch. Is that all there is? Huh. Raise the data stack. Buggers! Look out! I'm aware my health is low. Oh, I'm seeing the big bar on the screen. You trying to get me killed? Warning, hitchhikers may be escaped convicts. Hitchhikers may be escaped convicts? Is that his way of saying he's going crazy? Ooh, a shotgun. Shh. Can't see a damn thing. You go first. You know, maybe it's just because they're insistent on using English words. Because, you know, in the future, Earth is just all America. But Yanma really honestly sounds like an easier word to say than buggers. Also, isn't it a swear word in f f France? What's the language of those tea-drinking lilywhites? You know those uh, bad tooth having pansy skirts? Man, I want wings. Sometimes I wonder if I talk about eating too much. Alright, reload the gun. Stop getting your eyes here. Stop back in here for a quick map. Pick. Fuck. You know, if I told Eng people English was my first language, uh, they might believe me. My wife actually said that as a joke, but people took her seriously because they're like, oh, of course. That's why you're so bad at English. Everyone started crying. She, we were all like, no. She just has trouble focusing. Uh, dude, you got him. I know you're just committing your hate crimes and stuff, but that's also a waste of ammo. I'm surprised that these guys even get plasma weapons. Like, I know that plasma weapons are apparently, like, the cheapest thing in the world, and that the Covenant can make billions and billions of them. But, like, it still can't be that cheap, right? Like, I know they're just used as, like, grunts 2.0, you know, flying grunts. But are they really that cheap? Like, Christ, wouldn't they just give him, like, a hammer or something? 
Like, the Yanma might be cheaper and a little more effective if the Oh, well, that fucked up. Cheaper and a little more effective if instead they were just, like, given a spear, you know? Isn't a spear a little outdated? Well, so is this shotgun, but that doesn't stop them. I see no reason why it couldn't be, you know, useful. And Christ, if it's not futuristic enough for you, go to hell. Look at this shotgun. Look at half the guns here. And, jeez, if that's still not enough, just fucking stick a battery on it and call it, like, a laser spear. What's a, what's a thing they haven't used yet? Because we've got gravity hammer, energy sword, plasma's taken by all the weapons. Honestly, you just have the battery on there and have it do nothing. Nice. It looks so weird to see brutes with this thing. Like, it's such an elegant, refined weapon. Well, you know. Considering where we are, dude. Did he just ask me if I wanted to be arrested? Oh, okay. Confirmed. Okay. Okay. Perfect. That was a perfect shot. Hold your fire. Is that all of them? Okay. More Virgil time? Verge? No, I guess we're just going to keep going. Who is this guy? Does he have a name? Does he have lore? I guess he probably does, but they didn't, like, add the squad member's name popping on your screen until Halo f Halo Reach, I think. There you yeah, because I remember seeing Sergeant Jeff Ramsey in my, in my party. You know, not many men, not every man could survive a uh, big brute punch to the chest. Feel proud of yourself. You're going down to level nine too. Huh. Guess I could use some backup. Oh look. Oh, it's because they're working on this one. That's why it has to be this one. Because yeah, honestly, this level like is a lot more horizontal and vertical. Oh, they got him. Oh no, not him. Crime doesn't pay. Crime doesn't pay, he says. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of weird because, like, normally if, if they show you a big number on the wall and they're like, I have to get to nine, you start at one and you go through nine levels, you know? But here we've started at seven, and then instead of going down nine times, we've gone down twice. I don't know, just kind of weird. I mean, it makes sense as well. Because then the level is less vertical, and that's easier on everyone's computers or Xbox. I shredded my throat. I shouldn't have recorded today. Well, I'm glad I did, but um, I think I'm coming down with something, and I had coffee today. Not something I do every day, but um, specifically I had uh, instant coffee. And something my wife tells me, and I have no reason to doubt her, and she's usually right about everything, is that um, because of the very small crystals used in like instant coffee, it like shreds the inside of your throat with little micro chairs. And so it can actually make your throat hurt. And I try to mitigate that by actually mixing honey in. Um, I'm not supposed to have sugar this week, so I had uh, honey instead in my coffee. It was actually very, very tasty. I think I stuck that guy. I don't have scoring on because I'm playing this like normal. 
so it doesn't show up, but... Oh, man. This level looks really cool. It reminds me of, um... I think it's just called the server room. Oh, he's sad. What is it, baby? Little baby Virgil. I would like it if your health regenerated very slowly. Like, that's always one of my favorite ways to do gameplay. Like, um, the only the only example I can think of off the top of my head is Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Ah, two of you, huh? Oh boy. Here we go. Anyway, I think the level in Mirror's Edge is just called the server room, which is pretty uninspired. You know, just the room with the servers. Which is to say those big glowing boxes well got computers in them. Not like a room full of restaurant waiters. Well, I see lots of dead guys, so that means I'm heading the right direction, right? Actually, usually it doesn't mean I'm heading the right direction. That's a good So I think, um, plasma grenades just emit damage in like a burst. Oh, shit. Whereas, uh,. Human grenades are actually hit scan the way like a shotgun would be, which makes sense because they're supposed to emit um, they're, they're frag grenades, which is short for fragmentation. So instead of the explosion being the thing that hurts you, it's all the tiny pieces of scrap that shoot out of the sides. Well, I'm saving these long. Hmm. There's no health packs, huh? All right. Oh, come on. Everyone take your turn. Oh, I'm so stupid. I didn't know that that would be there. No health packs, huh? See, I can't run and, sh and throw grenades. Normally you're able to do that in Halo, but not so here. I mean, I could if I was moving this way. Oh, the adaptation. And see, then I'll just wait around this corner for someone to come, and I'll blow their head off. Okay, so it's not a perfect plan. It's not foolproof. But it doesn't mean it's a bad plan. Oh, got one. Virgil's sad. Does anyone... That was an achievement. Firefly, kill a drone with a flame grenade on Data Hive. Is that perhaps a reference to the show that featured Nathan Fillion called Flame Bug? There was a ship called The Peaceable, which I think was also the name of the movie that uh, was the official sequel, or the official finale, that is. All right. Did all that without really taking a hit. Um, Virgil, any chance that you can just pour some gravy out of the ceiling so I can keep my strength up here? I just need something, man. I need some calories. Hold E to knock on door. It's you. I thought... 
Never mind. What? Was that going to be your flirtatious overture? Inside, now. So notice that here someone asks him a direct question and he doesn't say something. Even Chief would speak then. So it's not normal for Halo to do that. Halo the franchise, that is. So some people think that because of this, this way and stay quiet. it has to be... Some idiots blew the building at the top of the shaft. <laughs> some idiots, haha, uh -huh. funny. Down there, that's the superintendent. Maybe the you should have told them what the plan the was so they, My mission, you know, our mission, them? is to secure the superintendent's data. Problem is, there's only one way in from here, right through the hive. All right, cool. Well, what are we waiting for? It would have been suicide to go alone, and I was hoping for more backup. But I guess you're it. You've been solo since we dropped. Fighting on the surface? Unless so, yeah. you spent all night hiding in your non verbal pod, nod. You must know your stuff. Show me. Also, was she really just going to point a gun at my at at Buck's head to be like, hey bitch, it's me. Your boo thang. Don't you love me? Aren't I a likable character? Blech. Straight people, man. So yeah, even though he can't tell me, and I'm saying he because Virgil is a masculine name, but honestly AIs, dumb AIs at least, are uh, agender. Oh, I got healed. That's nice. Um, Virgil can't tell us what the hell the plan was, but the whole plan was to save him. And so he's been working to get me here. And really the other one, but I'm the only one who's listened. Yeah. Pummel. I, I see them there. Sometimes I get so used to the, the Doom Shotgun. And then I'm brought back to the cold, sterile realization and awakening that Doom has the best shotgun in video games and no other game has one. Because Doom is one of the very, very few games where the shotgun is not like... something that is, you know, where you have to be within kissing distance to use it the only game where shotgun range is anywhere near realistic and you can use it at like upwards of 50 feet. Like, God bless. Dare, you're not looking good there. There's all flavor of spike sticking out of you. Does she have to do a big dumb kung fu hi -ya? Because people don't actually do those. As someone who has taken a self-defense class, it's Taekwondo, a uh, more defensive self-defense class. It's not aggressive style at all. It's Korean and oriented on kicking. I learned the history because I had to write a paper on Korea, and I was like, I know what Taekwondo is. I can start with that, right? Anyway, they usually just like have a little exhale of breath. It's like a hiss, you know? Like it's... You first, Trooper. Yeah, place. sure. Ow, my fucking shins. Oh, good. Well. Beautiful. Let's boogie, huh? I love weapons that kill shit through its shield. Like, I love the idea of shields and blocking, even in a context like this. I, I mentioned in a previous episode that I love Resident Evil 7's idea of like that you can just block a, a chainsaw with an with your arm. Like I already talked about that I love it, and I do. It's because I do love it. Can I rocket jump? I can. Interesting. Because I remember first trying to rocket jump at a very young age, and the rocket launcher... Yeah, I think I can rocket jump. The rocket launcher itself is not the intended 
you're not really able to rocket jump with that thing. It does so much damage that blowing that up at your feet is an instant kill on any difficulty. I think the only way that it's not an instant kill is if you happen to have, like, four times overshield because you've been fucking around with the settings on Firefight. But that's hardly a normal use of it. Getting warmer. We must be right under the hive. Head across the bridge. Let's see if we can find a way up. Find a way up? I just spent all this time getting down to you. Why didn't you come to me? Sub level 10. Trooper, through here. You know, I hate that my name can be shortened to Trooper in this game. Being called Trooper is a thing that I don't like. It means that you're just a unit, you know? Just a type. We going there? Well, bye. I found an elevator. Come to me. Elevator up. Next stop. Yeah, I did find an elevator. Huh? Uh, she's teleported. Damn it, Watson. Same team? Let's stick together. Move fast and quiet. Watch it! Sorry, you're in my way. Thanks for saving me. Advantage. You're welcome. Damn, here they come. You know, I don't have a great weapon for this. Yeah, sure. Let's just hit him. Oh, this is a cool level. It's a shame that this gets skipped. As far as I remember it being skipped, at least. This woman's first name is it Virginia. I can't tell you why, but it makes me think of a Percy Jackson character, and I don't think that that is one. Oh, that guy's dead. He's just standing there seductively because he wants me to be tricked into thinking that he's alive. I'm not sure what his angle is. I'll be honest. There, give me your gun. Come on, I need this thing. Fine, I'll shoot him with this. Right, where are you at, there? What are you doing up there? You just got down. What's your plan here? I'll stick with this for a little. Good shooting, trooper. Keep it up. We're almost there. Oh, come on. Give me that fucking thing. Also, what the fuck just hit me? What's that? Come up and. I hate having to use the best gun on the weakest enemies. Oh. Huh. Did that slow my fall? Does this stuff look it skipped? I keep seeing things that I, I think I remember, but I would think that I would have I would have not remembered them because I wouldn't have seen them because of the, the fact that they shouldn't be in the speedrun of the of the playlist. Oh, I'm drawing everything. There. Follow me. I see a way across. Do you see a, a respite from the bug apocalypse? Hey, asshole. How dare you? I'm covering us. Give me your stupid gun. Come on, give me that stupid thing. Rescue Virgil. I just want your fucking gun. Now this looks like a level Let's from Destiny. Now. She just teleported it. My target. Careful. Oh my god, she won't let me take it unless it's actually full. 
Well, I guess you can have that then. <gasps> Thork left. Oh, you can't drive it? Damn. Okay, that's one. <laughs> Dude, you just killed your own guy. Hostiles. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware there's hostiles, Virginia. I saw them first. Oh boy. I thought that there would have been more level, so maybe I should have kept that fucking thing. I don't know if Virginia is able to actually overcharge it. I'm aware. I'm aware. Oh, fuck. Well, that's the end of me. Yeah, it reminds me of a, um... A Vex Hive. Okay, give me that. Before they smash through that door. Let's take them out now. Yeah, I'm aware. Taking them out. I know the deal. I have played a Halo game and I'm a well trained in universe, I'm a well trained space marine man. I don't really need to be handheld here. Oh my god, it almost happened again. Any chance that you'll go over the edge? I mean that's only fair play, right? It's why Smash Brothers works. And let's be fair here, Smash Brothers only kind of works. <sighs> I just, I hit throw and reload at the same time. You know, tail as old as time. Phantom. Won't be long before I think I hear my brother in law. Oh, he's staying with us let's for a little while. Now. Do I know that voice actress? Oh, here we go. That's much better. Now I'll just stay here, and then I'll go grab a brute shot whenever I need a better gun. See, look at this. It's so dark here. Like, look at the fucking screen right now. Yeah, broke his helmet off. Oh my god, that's so rare. So one thing very specific to... Uh, oh yeah, I never actually got to use this thing last time. One thing very specific to the gravity hammer. You can use it to swing away projectiles. Oh yeah. I'm the god of war. It's times like this, I wish I had more guns. Space for more guns. Access granted, says Virgil. Nice and slow. Check your corners. I'll get the small gun out so you can see a little more of the screen. Data center. All right, time for the big twist ending that I think I've spoiled a couple of times. Oh, what's it gonna be? Memcore. Is that like cottage core? Bad joke. I know. Don't shoot. I haven't been. Yeah, it's a Hoogerok. A we've seen them before on other ops, but we've never gotten this close. Best we can tell. They're prisoners or slaves. So Either yeah, way, because the don't engineers don't really do. have that much reason I to be fighting. In the tunnels. They don't have to fight. Access, line, security cameras, and because they are organic unit. living computers, up here. you can download things into them. So this engineer has merged with. Believes there's some sort of biological yeah, there you go. Biological supercomputer. 
So this engineer has merged with this one has the superintendent. superintendent. So that's data. Virgil. Now. Combined it with its own. That's a living. Everything we want to know That's about like the it's it's so cool. What they're looking for under the city is right in here. So it's got human thought patterns because it's a dumb AI. But it also has so much covenant shit on it. And hey, you want to know something totally radical? Damn. Buggers must have raised the alarm. That really annoying thing that uh, they've been doing all game. Oh, they're just mad. <laughs> That's funny. That really annoying thing that engineers have been doing all game where they give shields to Fuck. your buddies, to your enemies. Veronica? Where the hell are you? Data center, but we're coming out. We? No time to explain, but do not, I repeat, do not shoot anything pink. Whatever you say, just come on! Ha ha, whatever. Those brutes are here for the engineer. They'll kill it if they get the chance. Anyway. You. Stay behind me. We now have shields okay. because of the engineer. Which is another reason that this uh, game has a very easy campaign. Because the final level... Yeah, look at that. I'm glowing just like them. And Virginia the is too. Still has shields, but they won't last long in a firefight. They will last a surprising length in a firefight. Take point. Clear a path to Buck. Look, I don't feel too bad about my chances here. Considering what I'm holding in my hands right now and what lays before me. Yeah, it's Virgil. I love how he automatically uses our uh, call sign system of four letters, no more, no less. Imagine how people must feel about the rookie. You know? Warning, engineer dying. He is an absolute nobody. He wasn't on... He wasn't an ODST before this mission. I got your back, buddy. I wasn't able to save your friends. And I'm sorry about that, but I'll save you. Rookie, I yeah, and like, he is able to stand alongside Spartans and like wield gravity hammers. Pick up, like, missile pods. And now he's allied with a extremely credible threat. I got you, buddy. Feel free to fill me in whenever. Not now, Buck. You know, everyone on the team seems really good at talking in the middle of a firefight. I really don't see a reason that you can't just explain to him what's happening. Or even just take five minutes. Like, for God's sake. I really don't like Virginia. Like, I, I feel like Halo got off to a really bad place for female M uh, NPCs. Oh, sorry, Virgil. Because you have Halsey, who's evil. And granted, some writers say that she's, like, all conflicted about it, but she still did evil shit. Feeling sad about it doesn't make her into a good person. Okay. So I think even when you have a uh, black eye, which makes shields not recharge in other Halo games, you still recharge shields with uh, Virgil on. Door's locked. Damn. Don't worry. We have a key. We have the key, groaning noises. I've mentioned this in the past as well. But I want to remind everyone about how wonderful engineer names are. I've seen hundreds of these things today. Why is this one so important? This engineer knows what the Covenant's after. If I could safely capture more of them, I would. What they know could win the war. Oh. You haven't killed any of them, have you? Beat up he no. is. Well, maybe one or two. Nice work. Anyway, enjoy this non-subtitled, shouted conversation fight that you have to be standing next to the participants to hear. 
Anyway, yeah, so engineer names are like lighter than some because some of them just float a little differently than the others. It's based on the buoyancy of their gas sacks. And again, recall that engineer birth is a function of two engineers who just happen to build uh, the, the new baby, quote unquote engineer, out of pieces of themselves and in the environment. So engineers can just make more engines. Elevator, come on. An elevator, I wonder what that means. Do you think we're gonna have some cool big elevator shootout? I wonder what. Anyway, yeah, feel my characters in Halo. You have Cortana, who's just, who sp spends all of her time in Chief's head. And then she's a MacGuffin to get back. Dr. Halsey's evil. You know what? I'm going to take a break here. Because this has gone on a little longer. So I'm sorry. But of course, you already know this because you saw that this title does not contain Lord, that thing final. Kind of reminds me of my... What was that for? Abandoning the mission. What mission? You dropped off the grid. My squad was scattered. I hate straight people sometimes. And that? For coming back. Hey, dumbass. He abandoned the mission because he didn't know what the mission was because you didn't tell him. You. <clears throat> God you did good, rookie. No doubt. This whole thing is your fault. We're not out of this yet. And of course, Buck has to take his helmet off so they can have a big dumb kiss scene. Captain, all right. How yeah. about you hang back? I'm gonna pause this fucking recording because I have been here a while. Stay with the asset and, give it and if nothing else, I need to just go drink some water. So I'll be right back. Um, thanks for watching. This has been ODST. I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys in the final.